Hey busy bees! Today I'm collaborating with a dozen of my favorite foodie friends to bring you some awesome holiday sweet treats. We're also gonna bring awareness to our favorite charities, so I'm gonna be sharing mine, No Kid Hungry, at the end of the video if you wanna learn more information. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be making three holiday wreaths today. The first one being my awesome Winter Wonderland wreath cake. The second is my M&M Holiday Lights, and the last one is a classic holiday wreath cake. If you guys love wreaths or cakes, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and please don't forget to subscribe, and we'll go ahead and get started with our cake batter. To make the cake batter, we'll start with two cups of all-purpose flour, dump it in a bowl, with two teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'll mix it all together until it's nice and combined, then I'll set it aside. Now in another bowl, I'll add in half a cup of softened room temperature butter, one cup of sugar, and then I'll whip it up until it's nice and fluffy. I have two eggs and I'll add one at a time, mixing it with every addition. Mix, mix, mix. I'll scrape down the bowl to make sure everything is even. Then I'll take one teaspoon of vanilla extract and add it to one cup of room temperature milk. Now I'll take my flour mixture and my milk mixture, add it in thirds, and I'll mix it after each addition. It looks nice and fluffy. I'm being extra careful not to overmix the batter because that makes a tough and dense cake. So after the last addition, I'm just gonna finish off with my spatula. Okay, now in my mini bundt cake pan, I'm gonna brush in some melted butter, making sure all the crevices are greased. I don't want anything sticking here. Then I'll take a little bit of flour, add it to each mold, bang it around, shake it up, cover each side, and then I'll dump out the excess. Now it's time to add our batter. I'll fill each mold about two thirds of the way up. Give it another good shake to flatten it out. And then I'll bake it for 22 to 25 minutes at 350 degrees until it's nice and golden brown. Like this. It's so beautiful. All right, I'll let these sit and chill while I work on my frosting. I have half a cup of butter at room temperature. I'll mix it up until it's nice and soft. Then I'll add two and a half cups of powdered sugar, a pinch of salt, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three tablespoons of milk. I'll whip them all together, mix, 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 until it's a nice and fluffy frosting. Now onto the decorations. I'm gonna start with my Winter Wonderland wreath cakes and I'm gonna show you guys how to make sugared cranberries. In my medium saucepan, I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of water, a quarter cup of sugar, then I'll heat it up on medium heat and stir it around just until the sugar dissolves. Then I'll add in one cup of whole fresh cranberries. Mix it around to make sure every cranberry is coated then I'll take it off heat and add it to a bowl. I'll let the cranberries chill in the fridge overnight so it can really soak in that sugar. This'll make it a lot less tart. Then an hour before I'm ready to make the cake, I'll scoop them out and let them dry on a wire rack for about an hour. What I'm doing here is letting that sugar syrup coating dry and have a tacky coating around the cranberries. This way, our granulated sugar will stick. It's nice and tacky. I'll take a little bit at a time and roll them in some sugar. They're nice and sticky and the sugar just clings onto them. They're so pretty, they look like frosted or snow covered berries. For this one, I'm gonna modify the frosting a little bit with some orange zest. It'll pair perfectly with the sugared cranberries. Now let's put it together. I'll take my bundt cake, add the frosting, and we'll just do a nice and rustic layer. I'll add my sugared cranberries to the middle, pile them on top, 
Then I'll add some little mini pine cones, add a few small sprigs of rosemary, then ta-da! And here's my winter wonderland wreath. Next up is my M&M holiday lights wreath. Here I have my bundt cake. We'll add some frosting. This one's just our regular vanilla frosting. Cover up the cake, smooth it out. Then using my black icing tube, I'm just gonna draw little scallops. This will be our light string. Now with my tweezer, I'm gonna carefully add in some silver decorative balls. These are edible, don't worry. They're just like really large sprinkles. Finally, I'll take my mini M&Ms and I'll just hang them on the string. I'm placing them sideways so they look like mini light bulbs. So cute! That was so simple, huh? This is actually one of my favorite ways to decorate holiday treats because it's so simple yet it adds a nice and festive touch. Everyone loves it too. Finally, onto our classic wreath cake. Anything really goes here, you just need to make leaves and make it pretty. Using the buttercream that I've made, I'll divide it into two bowls. The larger one with some green food coloring. Make sure you add a lot to get that deep green color. And then in the smaller bowl, I'll add my red food coloring. Perfect. To pipe my green frosting, I'm using the Wilton 67 tip to make leaves. And for the red frosting, I'm using the Wilton tip number 47 to make a bow. I'll fill up each piping bag and we're ready to go. I'll take my bundt cake, then I'll start frosting on my leaves. Just a small dab. It doesn't have to be perfect, cause leaves are all different. I'll go round and round making circular layers just to fill up any holes. Once I'm done with the green leaves, I'll take my red frosting and pipe on my bow. A big red bow. Ta-da! Finally, to make my wreath sparkle, I'll add some silver pearls. Okay, the moment of truth. I have to try it, and I'm gonna try my Winter Wonderland wreath cake so I can tell you guys what sugared cranberries are like. It looks so nice and fluffy. Here we go. It's nice and fluffy. I love the orange frosting, but we're gonna give it a try. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that was so good. Cranberries and orange are like my favorite holiday pairing. The orange zest in the frosting has just enough of the subtle hint of flavor, and the cranberries were not tart at all. Because it's soaked in that sugar syrup overnight, it adds so much sweetness, and has a very nice crunch to it too. You guys should definitely try this one. Okay, so like I was saying before, I wanted to bring awareness to my favorite charity, No Kid Hungry. Did you guys know that child hunger is still a major problem in the United States? One in five kids do not have a proper meal, and we have to bring a stop to this. When I was growing up, every weekend I would volunteer with my mom at a bread ministry to pass out day-old bread, vegetables, and whatnot to families in need. And that really brought a sense of awareness and just wanting to help people eat better and provide for them. So earlier this year, I partnered with No Kid Hungry to bring awareness through this program at the Taste of the Nation event so that people can donate money. They also have programs where you can volunteer like the Cooking Matters program where they teach low-income families how to shop smarter, stretch their budget, and find healthier alternatives and cook meals at home. And this is where my passion comes in where I love sharing healthy, delicious, and affordable meals with you guys. If you guys want to learn more information, be sure to check in the link below. And thank you so much Rachel and Vedika for putting this collaboration together. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Also be sure to check out the playlist with all of the other foodie favorites.